Is that connected properly? Because it I don't know, because like we could build a heliport for 11,000 rubles and we can fly people in and out. We could transport people from over there and bring them in here. Provide a link between these two towns because they they don't have. If you look at these now, they're probably complaining that they don't have. They don't have a church. They don't have any culture. Can't take part in sport. Like they're really not loving it. mean by culture what do they want gave them a pub already so it's not that ah cinema gallery of art yeah okay okay right we'll give them like a a cine world down here then. Can't build too close to existing infrastructure. What? Oh, that's so stupid. We don't want to put the cinema up near the fire station. It doesn't make any... Oh, there you go. Doesn't really make any sense to me, this. Yeah, the hitbox on this is just stupid. But it's clashing with roads, even though when you put it down, you could happily build a road around it anyway. It's just complaining over nothing. So the one thing they don't have is a hospital. Itself out. And then Okay, how are we doing on the coal mine? Ten people. Woo. One worker on the bus. Fantastic. Um I've just noticed something. There's no connection here. Odd. Sugar to play this, wait for maybe Steam achievements. Good game. Waiting for Steam achievements. Cares about steam achievement.
Right, so right now, we're super short of workers in the iron mine. Really, really short of workers, which is odd. Because these buildings here have only got like 20, 23, 4 people in them. This has got three people. So where is everybody? Why well, have we got 20 people selling in the shop? Do we just need more bodies in here? Let's try that. Assign workers to the bus stop that goes to the mine. Assign workers to the bus stop. Students 19. We don't want passengers. No, they don't need schools. Have an overlay left menu from up to down seven position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one show overlays. We'll show you basic workers, university workers, children, workers in employment. Workers with high education, workers with lower education. So basically, a hundred people are still at the bus stop. There are 10 people with higher education on this bus. Pretty certain this bus is only going to like one place. That's here. And that only goes to here. Did they just need higher education people in there? We have a fire. And I just deleted the message that would tell me where it was, and now I don't know where the fire is. There it is. They're on the case. Good job I connected the road, eh? Cool. Ah, oh, that's better. We've got 170 people up here now. We're now producing 200 tons of ore a day. That's fantastic. I've noticed what you can't do is you can't shut down a building. So I can't say, close this building down. Just power it down and don't use it for a bit. The iron's flowing, though. That's going up. Is that because... 
He's coming in on the train. No, he's coming in from here. Nice. Uh, reduce the workers to zero. That will shut it down. Yeah, it'd just be nice if you have a button where you just turn it off. Shut building down, turn it on. You know what I mean? Simple active-inactive switch. Now, when can we sell these trains? That's the question. We're ma if we're making our own coal now, and we're making our own iron ore... Sorry, making our own coal. We have loads of coal, loads of iron. Plenty of people working in here. That means all the steel that we're making should now be pure profit. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Like, literally, everything over there is 30% quality. But some people said the quality didn't matter. And the interesting thing is, the game itself says that each worker produces so many four tons of ore. Something like that. So I, I don't know what the quality source is. Looking at that, they're producing... A ton each? I don't know. Statement is set to auto by resource, we should probably cancel that. Um, Will it auto buy anyway? I say manually purchase. Let's see what happens. I mean, I assume it was not buying anyway because it was full up, but I don't know. What's his sources? How much iron is under the ground you can mine? Right. But how does that translate into what you extract? It's definitely going up, isn't it? So I think the trains are finito. He's got a big question mark over his head. It's like, huh? How do you want me to do that, boss? I feel just turn around here now. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay, the trains are no longer running. Ainor is still flowing. That's still going up. And that's profit. some more workers. More trucks on what? The steel export, you mean?
it would take a while to load. I don't know how many trucks were um, were shifting. Now, exporting steel on a train is definitely a difficult job. Uh, only because of the topology. So we'll have to bring the track around here, then somehow climb this insane gradient. And then get all the way through over here whilst not interfering with that road tunnel. And then, yeah, eventually get into that somehow. Um, I've seen it. I've seen it load two trucks, not four. But we are full. We need to um, assign more to that. Are we doing it by? Uh... Wait, what? Were they importing coal? Coal and iron, weren't they? We don't need these either. We don't need to import all this now. We can just sell all these. We must have a line for the steel. Steel export trucks, there you go. Sticking another three on them. God, this is so tedious. Yeah, I think we're possibly making more than we can shift by truck. And we're relying on this now to make the main money, I think. We've got fuel export sales and steel export sales. They're the main money spinners. Yeah, you see how they're queuing up. And if we get more than one queuing up here, I think this is going to block the road. Right? Yeah, that sucks. Apparently, it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does. Hmm. It looks like a vehicle has to queue up behind another vehicle unless the vehicle's spanning a junction, in which case it drives right through it. That's what it seems to do. Well, we could offload the steel. Um, the question is, where to? Okay, we're just creating a problem here, aren't we? Because Maybe they'll space themselves out shortly. Why does it take so long to load that steel? Do a longer train network to a different border, you're not paying fuel, so it won't make much difference. Yeah, we're not paying a long... Yeah, I get what you're saying, but the problem is, no matter where I go, I've got to somehow build track that goes through this. 
It's just horrendous. Like, there's a train export here, which involves going over water, through a mountain, through another mountain. It takes so, lo so long to build those tunnels. I don't think we could even do it with a bill with a million rubles. But this is a real issue. Um, there are storages with more loading platforms that you connect to steel. Okay, we can explore that. Which storage would it be? Like a warehouse or something. Zebedee, thank you for 21 months. Chris James, thank you for 10. Astro Steve, thank you for 54. And Dr. Kelso, thank you for subbing. Welcome. The open store. General cargo, meat storage, warehouse. Open storage, small. This. Store steel. All right, how do we get it in though? Is that what these are? Are these things forklifts or something? I seem to remember something like this in the tutorial. Some kind of storage bay. If I do that, I take it we can have the steel put into that and then we can truck it out that way maybe. It will automatically transfer the steel. That's a medium. Is that the biggest one? Space for vehicles continues. Blimey, that is actually loading up on steel. Look at that. That's way more space. So how many trucks can that thing load? Just two. Can you chain those things together? Could you have like two of them connected? Is your four loading possibilities? I could do that. How do you connect these? What is that? Is that a road or something? That special kind of connection? What is this? Gravel road. Is there a forklift road? No bridges. How do I connect that to that? Where's the forklift category? Build a factory connection. There we go. Must go directly from building A to building B. Too long. Ah. So there's a limit on it. Okay.
curious what this will do. You don't need to do more storage. It gives us extra loading bays. That's why I'm doing it. I can basically load four trucks at once instead of two. That's what I'm thinking. Right, let's see. Steel export trucks. Uh, let's see. Unload everything at the custom house. So we go here instead. Open storage one. Load 100% of anything. We get rid of that one. So you go. Okay, so on that one, we've got eight trucks. Why does it matter though, Eklos? Thank you, King Goss. <laughs> Let's see what the backlog looks like now. Because I, I, the problem is I don't know how many vehicles to put on the line. So on that one, we've got eight trucks. I'm thinking take two of them away. And then we'll buy another four. And then we'll put all four of them on the other line. Why don't you appear in here? Steel, F, FB transfer, whatever that means. Steel to storage with connection. Build a four cargo station. Connected to one of this two storage. The four cargo will accept to load material from storage because the connection four cargo station will have four position for loading trucks at the same time. All right, Adeldrum, have a good one. Yeah, I, I can see what, what you know what you're talking about, Berlines. I just wish I could, my brain could like <laughs> understand it. So the way I see it is we've now got two lots of huge storage bays and we can load four at a time. But that's not really the limiting factor. The limiting factor really is this stupid customs thing. But it takes so long to load. Let's see how long it takes to unload, actually. It takes so long to load the 27 tons of steel. Yeah, that unload is definitely quicker. 
that's going down fairly quickly. Whereas when you go to load stuff. Actually, no, that's loading quicker. What the heck? It feels like that loading is quicker than this loading. I wonder whether it's because it's got gantry cranes on it, whether that means its loading speed is better than that. It certainly looks like it is. Yeah, but I don't think train's an option just because of this. I have to punch a tunnel through here, you know? I'm just on a horrible map, basically. Maybe we can add more vehicles to that. Isn't the road cargo loading station that does load that even faster? Maybe. Uh, the steel mill is still and now actively buying resources. Last time we checked, looks like you didn't cancel any buying. Wait, what? I put up a manual ages ago. Literally clicked that ages ago. Look, it's not remembered. How do I cancel the go to auto purchase and click the red button? This. Ah. Oh, I thought if you just did that, it would. Okay, that's just a UI thing. Why is it buying stuff? Why are we out of iron and coal? We seem to have smashed through the iron all of a sudden, and it's going down rapidly. Okay, we've filled up that mine. Let's fill the other one up now. This is the iron mine buses. Two. Well, now we've got to get people up to this mine. We've got this mine going pretty well. Well, now we need to get this one online. This one's got a slightly higher yield on it. Um, and we're going to need more people, probably. Ooh, they've been breeding. I didn't buy all these. They've definitely been breeding. Too much alcohol, I think. Looks like they want a church, though. Uh, let's see, where's the church mod? Ding dong. My next the uh, fire station. Okay, we can get another row down the back here. Uh, I'm still on an easy Venox. I've not been changing it. I'd rather I'd rather get deeper into the game in terms of understand. Like, I want to learn all the mistakes first about building things, 
moving goods around, experiencing, you know, the steel industry, the uh, coal, the iron ore, gravel we've dealt with. Kind of like to get, we've done the oil thing, I'd like to get into the plastics uh, and then maybe the uranium. I'd rather do all of that and then later then switch it up and start to worry about electricity, truck fuel, people being unhappy, <laughs> motivation. <laughs> There's a whole nother layer of stuff I could add on top later that I don't feel like I'm, I'm missing right now. Nitro, thank you for two years. Can I upvote more Mon Bazoo? You can indeed. It won't make any difference, but you can upvote it. I go back to her at some point. I don't know when. like the game I think I do <laughs> okay, we've got some walkers up there now well, they seem to have moved from here to there. Is it worth just closing one of these, I think? How do I reduce the number of workers? Is this one? Increase work. So if I do that, that basically shuts that one down. Which then builds up to 25 tons. That should free up the workers just to focus on these two for now. Game needs a how-to video. Dude, you couldn't make a how-to video for this. You'd have to make an entire series. And I'm not joking. I think it would take many, many hours to become competent at this game, never mind an expert. Okay, so that's full. So the oil stops go in there. That means the rest of that goes to these two. I think that's more than enough for now. Now, the one thing I do need to do is get this road sorted for when we get workers up here. Is no mean feat. Thanks, game.
I think maybe it's just too steep, isn't it? How will a bridge help down here? <laughs> I don't think anything helps this. Is it just too steep? I don't get it. Q and E gonna do. That's true, actually. They could have just done a cable car or something. But they won't, the passengers won't do multiple hops, so you can't take them on a bus to here and then cable car them up there. They won't do it. and he changed the bridge height. Ah, I didn't know that. Push F4 to turn on parallel mode. What does that do? What's parallel mode do? Now, I need some way of dropping people off here. to flatten this out a little bit. Buses can stop at the mine itself. Can they really? I did not know that. Gee, I wonder if the uh, tutorial explained that. One too high. 118 workers without the job. Dude! You work in the middle of Colville Central. How can you be without work? Look at the place. It's like. I don't understand. Look how many vacancies there are here. And you're complaining that you can't get a job. Is that because they just can't be bothered to walk to this bus station? Is that what it is? So lazy. Yeah, it's out of range. They won't walk, though. This is the main bus stop to go up there, and they will not walk it. The rest will. But it looks like the distance is not 500 metres, it's 400. Yeah, Vrom, I don't think it's 500. If you look at this, that's within 500, but it's not within 400. KHD, thank you for 95 months, and Nitro, thank you for two years, by the way. I think you already said that, but... Problem is, the bus station are full of people in free time. I 
I'm tempted to just trash that building and build another one over here. I think it's probably a much easier solution. Or at least just empty that or something. Building underpass from the building to the bus station. Will that help? How do I evict everybody out of here and get them all to go and live over here? I don't want to, I don't want to like sell people and then buy more people. I just want to relocate them. I managed to short a tier on the road just to stop it. Well, yeah. Relocate up to 10 citizens to the building you select. Oh, hello. Okay. Nice. Okay. They're all gone. So, now I trash the building. Because people will just complain if I don't. I don't want to destroy the real. Allow citizens to move in. No. We'll just do that for now. We'll leave it empty. Hopefully they'll go and walk now. They complained they had no work, so I've moved them here, and now they're probably going to complain it's a long walk to the shops. Because <laughs> quite frankly, they're never happy. Eight percent unemployed due to having no workplace. Uh, it's just a lie. It really is a lie. You say, you know, if you walk 200 metres to that bus station, you can find employment, comrade. Oh, that's too far. Therefore, I have no workplace. Oh, it's just terrible. It's just actually terrible. Have we just not got enough people here? Seems to be walking this way. Like that coal mine is doing well, but these two are not. Now, is that a transport problem? Or is that a lack of manpower problem?
the danger here is if I start building more houses here, they'll be out of range of everything. Like, I'm already thinking that this is on the limit for those shops. Looks like we've got a big queue now. So maybe now we just need more buses. I thought I got rid of the third bus stop, this one. I thought I removed that. Because we said they'll... Oh no, that was it. We changed it to like 10% allocation. That was what it was. Yeah, yeah. There's six vehicles on that line. Line spacing enabled. The only way to the platform for one hour, if you hover over people icon, it will tell you. Yeah, if I'm doing line spacing. Hopefully they'll get on the bus and then they'll sit on the bus. Buses we can do on that. It doesn't make the bus go slowly. What it does is it makes it forces the bus to stop until the gaps between the buses are regular and then they carry on as normal. They don't travel any slower, they just, instead of having irregular spaces, they have regular spacing. But that bus is leaving as another one comes in, which is kind of cool. But right now I'm thinking there's not enough buses on that line. I'm thinking like another two might do it, because it's left and there's nothing coming back. The nearest bus coming back is one, two, three. I reckon three buses will do it. Uh, coal mine town bus is that this one? Yep. See if we can get more people in here. There we go. It's getting better. There's an absolute metric ton of people wanting to go into town. I mean, that's just overloaded, quite frankly. That's stopping workers going this way as well, because it's just full of passengers. Yeah, I know it says it's full. I can see it's full. There's not enough space for workers because it's full of passengers. I'm just wondering how to tackle it. Small buses or... Hmm. More buses puts more pressure on this bus stop.
Wow, that shop is actually packed. I think they need another shop, you know. We're going to have to get another shop, I think. I'm surprised I'm not starving. <laughs> um, right, small store, shopping centre. Shopping centre can cope with 400 people. Holy smoke! That's not a shopping centre. That's a factory. Look at it. That won't fit. I was thinking of replacing that one, but that ain't happening. Right, we'll put that down here then. And they can walk from the... Uh... It's really if I put that there, people over here won't walk to it. And if I put it here, it's too close to that. Oh, you can't really win. Maybe what we need is that one here, and then take that one away and put it over here. Put the smaller shop down this end. It's either that, or trash everything here, and put that there. And just trash all the monument and fountain and everything, just slap that in there. Well, that is central, but the problem is something's got to go. This is such a lovely place as well. Look at it. Got the fountain and everything. Ugh. Right, okay, here we go. I'm getting freaked out by this. We have nowhere to eat. Make those roads more janky. I don't know what happens to the people in the supermarket when we trash it. I'll just build that one. the meat grinder. <laughs> I need a little uh, statue thing now. A monument to go back. I need to put Lenin back. Comrade. I quite like that fountain we had. But I don't think we can... Jeez, that's a small fountain. I can't I swear, everything has a horrible hitbox. Well, that'd be lovely outside there, but it's not to be. Right, food. Clothes, electronics. 
Wow, the shoppers. Look at the steer there. Maxed out like that. 400 shoppers, boom. So I'm thinking we build another shopping thing down here with a bus station. And we have that bus run down to here so they can go shopping here if they want. And go to the cinema and stuff. We need another bus station, really. Just to take the load off that thing. Black Friday. Um, yeah, we need to build. Is that a small? Yeah, small shopping centre. To cater for people down this neck of the woods. Put it next to the bus station. Some people coming in. Right, now we can change that line. The one that goes from there to there. We'll move that to here now. So instead of going to bus platform 2, which is that one. I think we could probably put some more buses on it now. How's what? A little atomic time? What do you mean? Ambulance has not arrived. Uh-oh. Hang on a sec. Recently, no ambulance has arrived at the emergency cases in this building or area. No hospital in range or building not connected to the road network. Hospital cannot house so much emergency cases. Can... Okay. So either we build another hospital over here, but I'm tempted not to do that because this hospital is very rarely maxed out. If I'm honest, um, I mean, it's not the treated patients numbers coming up, but can we put like a helipad next to this? Last time I tried a helipad, it didn't work very well. Build a bridge over the lake. Lol. Um, you see now that that goes green. That goes green. The fire station one didn't. Scumbag game. Right, we'll have that then. I won't do that. I'll do this.
Jeez, it's a big price difference. Hang on. If I'm going to have a helicopter, presumably it doesn't just have to be for the hospital. Can't it just move people around between the cities anyway? Do I need to link them up with a footpath or something? How do I link people? F How do people get here? Do they have to get here via the hospital? Doesn't appear to be a way of linking this. It's not necessary to link. If I buy a helicopter here and put a helipad down here, will people go between them as well as emergencies? Single use only. They're essentially one building. Hmm. Right, so do I need to put anything here or not? Will it just take off and go and land somewhere? In that case, you might as well just buy a small helicopter. Let's buy a cheap one. If it's just for emergencies, you're not going to need more than eight people, are you? So will you just take off now and go and rescue people? a while ago. I think the person might have died, you know. Whoa, what happened to all the shoppers? There was 400 in there a minute ago. I think they all went down there doing Instagram pictures like, let's try this new shopping centre. And then they went, ah, it's a bit rubbish. Can't say blame them. Okay, so April 1962, we made twice as much money as we spent. It's not a bad month. Let's have a look at the... Uh so we've still got too much fuel and bitumen. I think we can really put many more trucks on that line. Just can't export the fuel quickly enough. the steel situation looking okay so the coal has collapsed we've got loads of iron and no coal great therefore no steel maybe this is why I kept the coal trucks in the first place <laughs> because when there's not enough coal coming in it actually buys it because we're still making money from steel, whereas now we're not making money from steel. Because we just can't get people to work. What's going on? There's loads of people here. I'm just going to put that that thing back that we used to have this. Luckily, I kept it all. I just got rid of the vehicles. Problem is, it takes up more space down here. 
but without the coal trucks. There's none in storage, just have a look. So there's literally nothing because there's no coal. They can't make it. And then 500 people can't work because there's no coal. Better to buy the coal in than do nothing. So the iron's full, but there's just zero coal. Everything's so dreary. Good job. It's not raining. It needs to be raining. It's far too sunny. Anyway, we are out of time. Save game. Cool. That is that for today. I should be back tomorrow. Chuck sold all the steel. Oh, yeah, they're selling all the steel, but we're just not making the steel now. But now we'll start to bring the... Uh... I got rid of the coal train and everything. In fact, you know what I should do? I sell them only to bring coal in. Not iron. Just let them focus on coal. I think we're okay on the iron side, but we'll see. Right, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out, guys, and for your support as ever. Glad you had a pleasant evening, Bruce. Uh, yeah, back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, it's going okay. We've got a decent town going on. There's, there's lots of inefficiency, but, you know, first playthrough, what can you expect? Learning things on the way. A bit strapped for cash. Really hate the customs areas. Love to get that customs mod working. Um, but, you know, we've got a second little thing going on here. Pretty good. Right. Have a great rest of your Saturday evening. Hope to see you tomorrow. If not, have a wonderful Sunday. I shall see you all very soon. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.